Hey everyone, it's Brittany. Welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. Today, I will be showing you guys what's in my bag. I haven't done a what's in my bag video for a really long time, and since going cruelty free, I wanted to do an updated version. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe by hitting that subscribe button below this video, and make sure you give it a thumbs up if you do end up liking it, and let's go ahead and get started. If you are a subscriber of my channel and you've been watching my videos for a long time, you would know that I went cruelty free around the middle of last year and I have loved it. It's been really easy, way easier than I thought it would be. And I also realized that with cruelty free, you kind of have to change a lot of your lifestyle. I had been buying a lot of Kate Spade bags over the years because they were my favorite purses and of course a lot of them were leather and I was like I need to replace this obviously so I started buying faux leather purses a lot of them were around like the $30 range and one of them has broken already the other one is in not the best shape so I really needed a bag that was vegan leather really great quality and held up to like the designer level bag. So I was actually sent a purse from Angela Roy. This video is not sponsored. This is actually the purse that I use every single day. It's a really, really incredible quality bag. So this is what my purse looks like. It is the Madeline mini bucket purse in the color cloud. Not only is Angela Roy cruelty free, it's also sweatshop free. I did a little bit of research on this company, of course. And if you're looking for a great quality vegan leather handbag, definitely check them out. Again, it's not sponsored. They didn't ask me to say anything about this bag. I just really love it. So if you want, I can leave the exact link to this bag in the description box below. Okay, so let's actually see what's inside it. This has a drawstring closure, which I really like, and it holds so much stuff. The bottom is really structured, so it's like extremely supportive for all the things that I like to carry around. The first thing I always have in my purse is, of course, my iPhone. This is the iPhone 8 Plus. I just did a video all about what's on my iPhone 8 Plus, if you want to watch it, I will list it up here. I also usually have my car keys in my purse. I drive a Kia Soul and I always have this little keychain on it because I got it for Christmas. It's of course a faux leather tassel keychain and it has a little B on it for Brittany, of course. This may seem kind of weird, but I actually have three wallets in here. I have one that keeps my like most used cards, so like credit cards, um, ID and then some like gift cards or reward cards to stores and then I also have one that I keep other gift cards in that I couldn't hold in my other one so I just kind of like to have that in there as well I was recently really annoyed by big wallets so I decided to use my tiny ones that I bought a long time ago and the third wallet I keep in my bag is a zip like coin purse. I keep my cash and my change in here because it's just a lot easier to get to. I don't need to go through a bunch of cards and yeah, I just got this one for Christmas in like an advent calendar thing. It is also faux leather and yeah, it's just, it makes my life a lot easier to have it that way. Some people might think differently though. I also have a receipt in here from my bank from when I decided to add some more money to my bank account. I have a few other receipts in here. I really didn't clean clean out my bag before I did this because I wanted to be real and show you guys what's actually in my bag. So this receipt is from the hotel that Michaela and I stayed at in Miami. This was when I bought food, I think. Yeah, pretty sure that's when I ate. I spent $18.60. I also have a coupon to Ulta for $3.50 off my purchase of $15 or more. Definitely gonna be using that. I also have a receipt in here from from California Pizza Kitchen at the Dallas Fort Worth Airport because we stopped in Dallas on the way to Miami. Of course, I have a receipt from Ulta in here as well. This was when I bought some stuff at the Miami Beach location and I spent only $19.77. That's probably a record. I have one more receipt in my bag. This is also from my, Ooh, oh my God. So this one is also from Miami. If you can't tell, this is the bag that I brought with me to Miami. I bought a mug for my mom and a long sleeve t-shirt for myself. Sometimes I like to switch purses and I like to make it really easy to switch purses. So for all the little things that I like to keep in my purse at all times, I like to keep it in a little like zipper pouch thing. This is actually from Milk Makeup. It was from one of the little like sample sets that I bought. 
and I thought it was the perfect size for putting in my bag. <laughs> so inside here, there are a few different random things. I have this little, okay, what is that? <laughs> that is a nail file from Press On Nails, which I actually do keep in here for a good reason because it's tiny and it works. <laughs> but this is a little like pill container thing. I keep Rolades in here. Um, for whenever I get a stomach ache and I'm out. I also have hand sanitizer, a little thing of floss from the dentist. I have band-aids. This little thing is where I keep painkillers if I ever need like ibuprofen or something. I keep it in this little travel thing. I also have a little sample size of the Glossier U perfume. It smells so good and I think I'm gonna buy the full size, but I like to keep a little thing of perfume in here for anytime that I might need it. I have a toothpick in here from Chipotle. I also have a travel menstrual cup thing. It's like a diva cup, but it's called Intimina and it's like a collapsible one. So I like to keep that in here if I am out and I don't have anything. It's really convenient to have. And I also keep a few little like liner things just in case as well. Oh, and oh my gosh, I totally forgot about this. I have a mini poopery in here, which I bought at Ulta in Miami. Michaela and I both got these because I feel like they're you, like, you just can't go wrong with having one of these. And I'm pretty sure they're also cruelty free. I haven't found out 100%, but I'm like 90% sure that they are. I also like to keep a little container of like daily medication pill things. I got this from Winners. It's a like travel daily organizer for pills. It's from the brand Ellen Tracy, which I don't know if I've ever heard of, but it is of course like faux leather and it has a really cute palm tree print on it. And it just has little compartments for every day if you take daily medication. I also have a little pack of blotting papers. This is from Forever 21. It was like $1.90 that I got for Christmas, like a little stocking stuffer thing, I think. And yeah, it's always nice to have some. I've given them to other people too, so I like having them in my bag. I always keep my favorite lip balm in my purse at all times. This is from Skin Fix. This is the natural lemon mint scent and they have, or flavor, whatever you wanna call it. There's a few different ones. So right now I'm just trying to use up the lemon mint one and I love it. And if you didn't realize by now, I like to compartmentalize everything. So I like to have everything organized in some way that works for me. So I keep my headphones, my earbuds in here. This is a little travel pouch. I also got this from Winners and it's specifically for your headphones. And this is great if you switch bags all the time because it's always in here. So I have two sets of headphones because one is for my iPad and one is for my iPhone. And then I also have a charging cord as well. If you can find one of these, you should definitely buy it. I'm pretty sure the brand this is from is called My Tagalongs. They make a ton of really great travel products. And to go along with those electronic things, I have a portable charger. I got this in one of my goodie bags for Dallas StyleCon, I think, and it's from West Coast Vibes. I'm not sure if that's exactly what they make, but they were just giving them out from their company, and I'm pretty sure it holds a lot of power, and you can kind of like check how much power it has by pressing a little button, and then the lights come on, so it's pretty awesome. I've got two more things in here. One of them is a mirror. I got this so long ago. I don't even remember where it's from, but it's just a little, mirror one side is like regular and the other side is magnetized so you, magnetized magnified not magnetized and the front says damn i'm cute i really want to know where i got this it's like so old but i use it all the time and it's just always nice to have a mirror in your bag and the last thing in here is a little lip balm i don't even know where this is from i think it might be from urban outfitters but when i was in miami with dote they actually gave all of us one of these and it's a nice like rose kind of scented lip balm. And that's everything for inside this bag. It actually holds so much. There is a little pocket on the inside for your phone right here. And then there is a zipper pocket on the other side. And I actually do have some business cards in there for YouTube and everything. Um, but that is pretty much it for every, well, it is it for everything that's in my bag. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got to see a little bit of what I take with me on a day-to-day -day basis. And let me know if you like these types of videos. I could do another one for like 
another what's in my carry-on bag or something like that for when I travel. Let me know if whatever is in my bag is very similar to yours or if you have a totally different system for your everyday bag. And also let me know if you are cruelty-free. I'd like to know how many of you guys out there are cruelty-free or planning on going cruelty-free too. And again, if you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. I do upload videos every single week and of course I always take video suggestions so if you have anything you want to see let me know in the comment section below and I hope you guys are having an amazing day thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next one bye